Kanye West and Kyrie Irving, what do they have in common? Well, look at the first letter of their names. It's a K. What is K? K is the 11th letter in the alphabet. 1111. What happened on 1111? The Pope and them went up to Mount Sinai to make a new Ten Commandments to save the earth. They, it's all massive rituals that they're doing with numbers and events on certain days and everything. And this was shown to me by God not too long ago. I wasn't sure if I should share it, but it makes a lot of sense. KK 1111 and yesterday 1111, they went up to Mount Sinai, got the new Ten Commandments. And just so happens that Connie and Kyrie are all up in the news now. It's a ritual. What's about to happen on Mount Sinai is absolutely insane. Religious leaders are gathering November 6th through the 18th for a ceremony they're calling Returning to Sinai, where they say that they're going to issue a new Ten Commandments to repent for man-made climate change. The website Interface Center for Sustainable Development has an article discussing the upcoming event titled In Sinai, A Prophetic Call for Climate Justice and Ceremony of Repentance. Mount Sinai is, of course, where Moses received the Ten Commandments, but these religious leaders are actually calling for a new universal Ten Commandments. In that article, it states the project partners will bring together premier religious leaders from the world's major religions to gather upon Mount Sinai to engage in a first ever climate repentance ceremony and to pull forth a prophetic interreligious call to action, climate justice, 10 universal commandments. Yeah, you know, it's even more weird is if you take a picture of a $1 bill on the back. It looks like an alien. Yeah. yeah I saw that. Yeah, you actually, well, you turn the, you turn the contrast all the way up and yeah, the contrast reveals an alien head and the face, the eyes, everything. Check this out, family. The United States Air Force just came out with a new logo. Y'all peep game? Y'all peep game? It's a UFO. It's a UFO. I'm about to break this whole thing down, too. This is how they're going to start the new world order, the one world government. When they say we have finally made peace with each other, and when they say we, we, we can finally come together, just know it's cap. These niggas will never make peace. Because they only care about money and power. These niggas will never form an alliance. Never. It's impossible. It's impossible, family. This shit getting real, y'all. So back in 2018, Trump spoke on establishing a space force, a real space force, having the Air Force and the Space Force separate but equal. Why did you need a space force? Not only that, in this video as well, back in 2018, both videos are back in 2018, he was talking about they're going to Mars. And how space is for wars, for space wars. Not not air wars, space wars. What are they doing? What are they talking about? Let me break it down. Y'all, they're going to fake a alien invasion, family. And when they say the aliens are here, we need to come together to fight these aliens. We're going to be fighting for no reason, coming together for no reason doing extra shit for no reason u.s government documents and witness testimony from former or retired u.s military personnel confirm beyond any doubt the reality of ongoing ufo incursions at nuclear weapons sites i mean whatever it is it's clearly been here for a long time and it doesn't necessarily care so much about us but it, uh, in terms of you know if it wanted to wipe us out it could Clearly, I mean, obviously, all you got to do is go out to the asteroid belt and push a big rock our way, and that's the end of us with the next dinosaur yes. you know, uh, problem. Um, so, the next question is well, if they've been here all along before we were even civilized, well, whose planet is this really? The evidence could be right here, it could be right in front of us, it could be within genetic sequence. It could even be more obvious than that. It could be the very fact that we're alive and we're on this planet. Is, is an example of, of some intelligent life somewhere making a decision that life needs to exist on this planet. Um, we need to be open to all of that. We, we really do. I, I think um, we need to cast a very wide net. And this is why we say all options have to be on the table until they're not on the table, because you may be surprised. In 2 Thessalonians, God sends the world a strong delusion so that they should believe a lie because they did not receive the love of the truth. 
It talks about lying signs and wonders in the last days. And this is what that is. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 9 through 12 King James Bible. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness.